prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Saint Elizabeth, we ask you to help us grow in faith and understanding. Help us to know that nothing is impossible with God. Help us to celebrate life with our Mother Mary at the Visitation. Help us to offer hospitality to those who are in need, just as you offered your support to Mary during her pregnancy with Jesus. As a mother, you know the joys and sorrows of young people. Be our support. Help us to grow as students and teachers. May our school reflect your gifts of faith, respect for life, and hospitality. Saint Elizabeth, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We are gathered on the ancestral lands and waters of all indigenous peoples who have left their footprints on Mother Earth before us. We respectfully acknowledge those who have walked on it, those who walk on it now, and future generations who have yet to walk upon it. We pray to the Creator for strength and wisdom that all may continue to serve as stewards of the earth. Thank you, Ms. San Germano and Chloe. Later this evening, be sure to visit our school's chapel on the third floor to learn more about faith formation. Up next, we invite our trustee, Jennifer Winston, to share a few messages with you. Thank you and good evening everyone. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am thrilled to welcome you here tonight. And uh, I don't know, some of you know this, some of you don't, but I'm not here just as your trustee. Um, I'm a proud parent of St. Elizabeth students. My daughter graduated from the Visual Arts program in 2020. My son will be graduating this year in the Instrumental Music program. So I have a lot of firsthand knowledge and experience with this beautiful gem of a school. I can't tell you that how much I enjoy being here as a representative of the, board, of the board and as a parent. So the words that I'm gonna bring you today are the things that I think as parents, you really wanna know, right? You know, I can spell statistics, but I don't think that that's what matters to you when you're choosing your, a school for your, for your child. So first and foremost, I have it on very good authority that the nonnas in the cafeteria serve the best food across the board. <laughs> um, but one thing that I want, I mean, you've seen already, you know, some of our, our music performances, you know that this school is known for the arts, but I want you to know that that's not all that St. Elizabeth is. St. Elizabeth cares for your student in such a holistic way. The teachers, the staff, everybody here is looking out for your child academically, spiritually, physically, in terms of their mental health. So this is a place where your child can actually explore um, things that, that might be interesting to them. You come out of this school such a well-rounded human being. So not only is there exposure to the arts, but we have techno technological programs, um, automotive and industrial. And not only is that a big part of it, but you know, these teachers are also running um, um, charitable programs from, from their classrooms. So I know that Mr. Romano was taking in bicycles and refurbishing them and sending them to communities in the north because that was something he'd experienced as a teacher, bringing a group there. So a lot of these experiences that our students and our staff have come back and they are realized in a very authentic way here in this school. You have the opportunity to check out food and nutrition, um, life skill, but not only that, these are Insta-worthy plating that you're gonna see if you follow any of, any of our, our teachers online. We have sports. I know that our, our coaches and our phys ed team are really committed. And even last year at the very last minute, they came together and put on an athletic banquet for the kids because it's been so long since they've been able to celebrate their programs there. 
and even um, Ms. Busden, who will say, I believe it's, don't ask us why we run, ask yourself why you don't. So these are things that are part and parcel of every day here at St. Elizabeth. If you have come through the school, um, instead of the theater doors this evening, you will have heard and seen the buzz in the air. You would have heard our, our vocal students that were singing in the foyer. You would have seen the students talking about drama and the other programs that they get involved with. They're always giving back to the community. We have a strong peer ministry here. We've got an excellent relationship now with our with our parish, who you know we've got a new youth minister that's going to be um, meeting our kids here as well. But the students here are supported in bringing ideas to life, and I'm not talking about just academically in terms of the design thinking, taking real world problems and solving them, but even in terms of. You know, students at St. Elizabeth brought the, the menstrual hygiene program here first. Before the government stepped in, before we had any of that, they were supported by staff, and it was students that drove that program. So this is the place to be. This is a place for you to be, and I welcome you here. If you have any questions for me as a parent afterwards, I'm happy to hang out and talk with you, but I think this is enough for me. Thank you again for being here. Welcome. Thank you, Ms. Winston, for your words of encouragement. Where's Marie? Marie? Marie! I'm busy! Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're going to watch a scene um, from a variety of shows in which actors do not know what play they're in, and Marie very graciously stepped in to take over the part of a student who became ill yesterday. One thing drama students learn is that the show must go on. to be done. I guess you're not, Ophelia. We'll just wait. Either he'll come, pause, 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 or he won't. Well, that's a reasonable attitude. Mm -hmm. Are we on a guess waiting for Godot? No, Lily. He came already and was an awful bore. Garlic in his breath, telling a lot of unpleasant jokes. Oh, he was dreadful. Pause, rolls eyes upwards. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Pause. Um, so are we really waiting for anybody? No, Willie, we're not. Just another happy day. Pause. Smile. Pause. Picks knit from head. Do you smell something? That's not your line. Willie doesn't have that many lines. <laughs> oh, how talkative, Willie, you are this morning. There seems to be some sort of muck at the bottom of my garbage can. Mustn't complain, Willie. There's muck at the bottom of everybody's garbage cans. Count your blessings, Willie. I do. One, two, three. Are you counting, Willie? I guess so. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, Willie, may I have there is a god. Please. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What is this? Nobody cares. You've been cut. Yeah, that's right. Come on, get a move on. Move it or lose it. Oh, I know I've been cut from hang, dud. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. But this is my time to shine. Um, I'm here to. Oh, shh. Forget about Edmonton. St. Elizabeth is where it's at. Mm, perhaps you should sell me some of your stuff. You think so? It pleases you, my lord. Shall we begin? Sure. Now follow along. A man without a bomb is nothing. But if it blows, he's less. Detonation's always painful. Not to mention the mess. I mean, thinks this is mostly joyful. Wow, you do? 
A man without a form is not. It's nothing! But if it blows, he's useless. Detonations always be able. Not to mention. A mess of men! Stop! 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 What on earth is going on? This, my dear lady, is theater! And who are you? Kate Mason, but that's besides the point. What is this? It's better than Julie's wedding, but at least I got these. <laughs> Did you say wedding? Do you need a planner? Do you need a performer? I can officiate legally in Edmonton. What? No. Mm, this reminds me of my parents' hasty marriage. No! I'm Kate Mason from the play Ladies in Waiting. The wedding? I had a monologue behind my husband cheated on me? No? Nothing? Oh, come on! Why does every other one have to get the lighting, the music, and the funny jokes, but we got nothing? At least you weren't cut from Hamlet! Or... Hey, Dud! I don't want to hear any more about ladies in waiting. Or, hey, Dud. <laughs> Clyde, Clyde, what are you doing with that? <laughs> oh, now the school children will have saints to look up to. No, no, not all that. <clears throat> me, 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 me. To be or to be. Oh, no. so this is Hamlet. No, this is the play Ladies in Waiting. No, this is the play Actor's Nightmare. No. <laughs> this is the play Hey, Dud. No, this is a tragedy, and this is over! How confusing, but what fun! Next, we invite our head guidance counselor, Ms. D'Ambrosi, and head of special education, Ms. Arista Valeria to say a few words. Welcome, everyone. I'm Ms. Tembrose. I just want you to uh, put a uh, name to a face. Um, Mr. Stamalia and I are the two guidance counselors. We're, our office is just outside the cafeteria across from it, and we're there to help you tonight if you have questions about registration, courses, anything like that, okay, about programming, et cetera, and our services. So I just want to welcome you. It's a very special place. I've been teaching a long, long time. And it's my fourth high school, and it's quite a nice place to be. So I hope you do decide to bring your son or daughter here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, just a quick little message. If uh, your son or daughter does have an IEP, whether they are in our board or not, I do kindly ask if you can connect with the core resource teacher so that connection is made during transition. It's really helpful for me especially to know those students that are not um, within our board or within our feeder schools. So welcome and I hope to see you in September.
To start, I know just how intimidating it can be to go from elementary school to high school. I remember when I was in grade eight, I came to an open house just like this one. I sat at the back of the cat and I was shaking because I was so nervous at the sheer size of the school. And all these questions were running through my head like, will I make any friends here? What if I don't fit in? Am I gonna get lost in the halls every day? And if you have any of these concerns right now, I just wanna say, don't worry. The first thing, I noticed about the community here at St. Elizabeth is how welcoming and inclusive everyone is. Everyone in the older grades is really helpful and friendly, so whenever I felt lost or needed help, I always felt comfortable asking them. And especially if you're looking to get into RAC, it's so easy to make new friends because you're in a class with people who have the exact same interests as you. For me, I was in digital art, I liked anime, I liked cartoons, and right away I found people who liked the exact same things as me. Um, so I can guarantee you that no matter how nervous you are right now, you will quickly find your home here at St. Elizabeth. One thing I would really, really recommend uh, if you're looking to meet new people and get involved in the school community and grow as both a person and a leader is to join Student Council. Student Council is essentially an organization run by the students for the students. Uh, we plan events, activities, fundraisers, and all sorts of things just to make life here at St. Elizabeth more fun and enjoyable. Some of our more well-known events are Spirit Week, Halloween Week, Variety Night, which is a school-wide talent show. And right now, for the month of November, we're raising money for November Foundation, and I'm unsuccessfully attempting to grow a mustache. <laughs> All that to say, we do a lot for the school. Applying for student council in grade nine was definitely the best decision I made in high school. Right away, it gives you an opportunity to make friends not only in your grade, but in every grade. Um, it's, you get to get involved with the school community by sharing your ideas, and it really is such a rewarding experience when an idea or a suggestion that you have happens and everyone in the school participates in it. Student Council really is like having a second family at school, and it's really great knowing that you always have people you can rely on. Being on Student Council also drastically helped with my confidence. Like I said before, I was a super anxious, nervous person, but um, Student Council really helped with my confidence and helped me get out of my comfort zone to be a more well-rounded speaker and person now. Now, if Student Council doesn't sound right for you, there are countless other clubs and councils here, like Media Council, Drama Council, Photo Club, Art Council, Athletic Council, the list goes on. So I guarantee you'll find something here that interests you. I seriously, seriously cannot stress enough how amazing the community here at St. Elizabeth is. And I mean it when I say you will find your place here. Thank you, and if you have any questions at all, come visit our booth and the countless other booths outside the CAF. Uh, Student Council will be handing out popcorn and taking pictures, and uh, we'll also have our mascot, Pedro the Panther, there, and I think he wants to come say hi. Pedro, are you there? He's not. Okay, Pedro's a little shy right now, but he can see him at our booth. He's like, oh, he's there! <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, and we 
look forward to seeing you next year. students. The first piece showcases our grade 10 dance students performing Arabian Nights, one of their dances for the elementary show that they will have in the coming week. The next piece is a modern contemporary improv, and it features our dance students and our very own St. Elizabeth percussionists. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
energy and grace. Thank you to our regional arts dancers for their spectacular performances. At this time, we would like to welcome our wonderful principal, Ms. Fasano, to speak. Good evening, everyone. It's extremely difficult to follow all of the fantastic acts and speakers tonight, but it really makes it easy for all of you to see why I'm incredibly humbled and privileged to serve as the principal of St. Elizabeth Catholic High School. This kind of event does not happen without a dedicated staff, a school full of enthusiastic and dynamic students, and the will of many that go above and beyond to make this fantastic school community what it is each and every day. I could stand up here and I could tell you about all the courses, options, extracurriculars, technology-infused curriculum, the co-op experience, and the athletics the school has to offer. But that's not what's going to make you want to come here as a student. And that's not what's going to convince parents that this is where they want to send their children. In truth, the magic of this place lies in the amount of love and care that those children are supported with each and every day when they walk through the doors of this building. As a musician and a lover of the arts myself, I was so excited to be appointed to the home of the Arts Connected Regional Arts Program. St. Elizabeth is also the home of the school board's only full-scale professional theater that we're sitting in right now, and that if you're in the cafeteria, you'll get to see a little bit later. Something that our students benefit from as they showcase their talents. But the thing that struck me the most when I first visited the school was the positivity and warmth of the smiles that introduced me to the very people that we serve every day, our students. Grade eights, if you wanna know what our school is all about and why you wanna be here for the next four years, talk to the people who call this place home every day. Ask them why they love it so much. Allow them to show you their work, their projects, the clubs, councils, and teams that they're a part of, and what their favorite courses are. Ask them about that awesome, the awesome friends that they've made in the very few first days when they joined our vibrant community. They are the best ambassadors for the collaborative and innovative spirit that is the very foundation of this school. Parents, next year you will be sending us your most precious assets, your children. For some, this may be the first child you usher into their high school years. For others, it may be the last, and you've done this before. Regardless, know that the care of every adult in this building means that they have a safe, welcoming space no matter where they're coming from. Our special education, guidance, chaplaincy, and administrative teams provide the support they need to conquer whatever obstacle comes their way. When they leave us, they are the strong, discerning believers the world needs them to be. They're the caring and just people that our current world so desperately needs more of. Just before we leave the theater, I'm gonna draw your attention to the students that are gonna be outside the theater and you're gonna be carrying some signs of their school logo on them. We would ask that the initial groups that leave the theater um, follow these students with the signs so that, that way we can expedite everyone out of here and can enjoy the time out there in the, uh, in the rest of the school. Before we continue, we'll say a prayer that that child um, makes it home safe and sound. You'll also find students wearing red t-shirts that say volunteer and have our school logo on them. They can provide you with a QR code with the listing of our showcase locations as well as a map of our school. There's also signs that have that big QR code right on them, so just scan that and that'll give you a map and all the things as well. The list will also have all of the regional arts program discipline specific information sessions, which will run uh, twice at 8 p.m. and again at 8.25 p.m. So if you're thinking of two different disciplines, you can, the sessions are being offered uh, twice. In closing, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending this evening, because I know it's not easy to rush home and, and you know, get dinner somehow and then rush to make it here. So thank you for that. And I look forward to meeting each and every one of you out there as you explore our school. 
and welcome to the graduating class of 2027. Welcome to St. Elizabeth. Well, that concludes the welcome portion of our presentation, but before we say farewell, we would like to remind you of a few things. You will have the rest of the evening to explore St. Elizabeth. Take some time to check out the amazing art installation in the theater lobby. For anyone interested in our regional arts program, more information will be provided at two sessions this evening in various locations for each of our six focus disciplines, instrumental and vocal music, drama, dance, visual, and digital art. Also, check out the third floor where you can meet teachers and students involved with chaplaincy, English, science, math, French, and religion. On the second floor, you will learn more about communications technology, family studies, library, Canadian and world studies, and visual art. On the first floor, there will be many clubs and councils on display in front of the cafeteria, as well as information about business, co-op, and schism. You will also find the guidance office, auto shop and construction tech, gym and weight room, dance, vocal, music, drama, and digital classes. If you need help finding a location, look for our student volunteers wearing red shirts. You may also want to scan the QR codes provided for our digital maps and locations. Now, we ask that you please stay seated. So there's no need to rush out now. We suggest that the right side leaves first, then the left side, then the middle, um, just to avoid being stuck in traffic, as I'm sure many of you were stuck on the way here tonight. <laughs> so Sarah now is going to head to the lobby, and I'm gonna call her so I get a live um, theater lobby play by play, play. So whenever there's space enough and there's less traffic, I'll make sure to send the next session section because I know we're all eager to explore St. Elizabeth, so thank you in advance for your patience. So we'll start with the right side, you guys may enter the lobby.